Okay, welcome. So this time, we're going to be talking about derivatives. So we're going to be starting to get into calculus. What's shown on screen now is a simple linear function. So we know that the slope of this graph is rise over run. So it's how much the vertical variable changes with respect to how much the horizontal value changes. So for example, if I move from here this much in the horizontal axis, then I get to here. So I have to move this much in the vertical axis. And we end up with a slope that looks like this. So this is how the slope looks like for a simple linear function. But what if we're faced with a curve this time? So a curve function is a little bit more tricky because yes, you could still do rise over run, but this would actually give you the average rate of change or the average slope. So for example, if I want to take the slope from this point to this point, it's essentially, again, how much the y goes up when we travel this much in the x. Okay, I cannot <laughs> draw straight lines. <laughs> okay, so this ultimately gives you a slope that looks like this ramp over here. So this line here is our slope. It's our average rate of change from this point to this point. Okay. So what it means by average rate of change is it actually adds up all of these individual rates of change inside this area. So for example, at this point, there's a gradual slope here. At this point, there's also a slope here. At this point, there's a slope here. And at this point, there's a steep slope here. So it adds up all of these infinitely small slopes within this region. Then it averages it to give you this average slope. And this is where it gets interesting. Because calculus gives us the tools to analyze the slope of this function instantaneously. So instead of working with average slope, we're able to work with, at this infinitely small point, the slope is this. So we can analyze that exact slope, or maybe even this exact slope, or this exact slope. So calculus, in particular differential calculus, gives us the tools to analyze this. And this is exactly what we call derivatives. In class, you might see this sort of notation for derivatives, dy over d x. So this, in particular, is read as the differential of y with respect to x. Now, these variables can change, of course, but in this case, the y is our vertical axis and the x is our horizontal axis. So this notation is called the Leibniz notation. So Leibniz notation. And whenever I see these d's, how I like to think of it is it refers to infinitely small. Okay, infinitely small. So what does that mean? In this notation, it basically says that an infinitely small step in x, in the x direction, would also result in an infinitely small y, an infinitely small y step. So this is just another way of writing our rise over run formula that we're already familiar with, except this one refers to an infinitely small scale of this. Okay. So again, all of this just refers ultimately to that instantaneous point here. What is the slope? What is that infinitely small slope? And that is just what the derivative is.